Hello, one of the options that you have when using your Android phone or your Chromebook is Nearby Share. I don't think Nearby Share has been used as much as people could use it because they're not really aware of how it works or that it's actually even there. But Nearby Share is really useful. If, for example, you're on your Android phone and you go away to the beach for the day or you go on a holiday and you take loads of photos, snaps or videos, you might want to then put them videos or photos on your Chromebook or Chromebooks. Now to do that, one way you could do it, you could upload it to Google Photos, but if you've got your photos just on your phone and you want to share your photos with your Chromebook, then the e e easiest way to do that is using Nearby Share. It's the same as if you're selling something on eBay and you take a few snaps on your Android phone. You just want to get them quickly up onto eBay. And if you're doing that on your Chromebook, again, you just want to do it using Nearby Share. Nearby Share is really good and I don't think it's used as much as it can be. So in the video coming up, I'm going to show you how to use Nearby Share on your Chromebook. Okay, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop and from here, if you go down to here in your settings and you'll see there nearby visibility is off. You can turn it on straight and up right now if you want to or we can wait until we share it. It's entirely up to you, but being that we're going to do it straight away, I'll do it now. So I click that on to nearby share is on and that's just going to be my other monitor. And there you go, it's got their nearby share visible to nearby devices as Dan's Chromebox for five minutes. And then what we do, we go over to my Android phone. Okay, so we go over to my phone, which I'm on here now. And if we go on to files, and then we go on to images, and as you can see, I've got some images there. I've got an image called of images of my dog. I've got a few other images of the Logitech pen. Now you can send more than one if you want to, or you can just send the one. So if you wanted to send the one, you just click on that. And then at the bottom here, you see you've got share. Click on that. And here you'll see you've got nearby here at the top. Just click on that. And then looking for nearby devices, and there you can see it's got Dan's Chromebox. So just click on that. And then on the Chromebox should say, do you want to accept? And it's showing that it's coming from Dan's phone. It's JPEG, do you want to accept? So you just click okay on that. And there you go, look how quick that come across. And if you open in folder, there it is, the picture there. So that's why it's so good. And like I says, you can do it with a few images. So if we did it with a few images, which we'll just do now, let's just go back a bit. Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bear in mind, these aren't necessarily super small images, but then we share there and at the top. Again, you can see nearby, just click on that and then looking for nearby devices. And again, I think we need, we turned it off because it's already done the nearby share, it's turned off. So just simply click that on. I'll drag it over, it's gonna never display. And there we go, on the phone, you can see Dan's Chromebox again. So I'll just pull that across. So just click on there. And there we go, accept eight files. And it's now gonna receive those eight files. And look how quick that is, that's really quick. So much easier than attaching them to say, uh, email or anything like that. It's just a really easy way. And if I wanted them pictures, maybe I just wanted to edit those pictures. For example, I could do that, which is absolutely fine. Really good way, eight images received from Dan's phone open up your folder and there you've got all your images there. So it's so quick and it's really good. And like I said, it's great for things like if you're selling something on eBay or even if you've been to the beach for the day and you want to 
um, you know, edit them images. It's just great that you can do that. So I would really recommend using Nearby Share. Nearby Share is great. It's great to use between your Android phone and your Chromebook or your Chromebox. And it's not just for that as well. You can do it with your contacts. So you can set it so it does a Nearby Share with your contacts. So this, this is say if you're on your Android phone and they're on their Android phone. If they wanted to send you an image, you could do a nearby share from their phone to your phone. So it's really good. I'd recommend giving it a go. If you like this video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.